Hello, in this one, build tier list for season 6 rebirth. This is based on the seasonal rankings in the past two weeks in EU, NA, Korea and Asia servers. One thing to note is that tiers themselves not necessarily represent the amount of damage that build can do, but it's more about how easy it is to acquire a certain amount of damage. As almost any build in here can be scaled to do any content in game at any level. I want to start with Akban's Punishment. So, Agaban's Punishment is a new scepter that makes any lightning build so much better. So, I'm just gonna pile up all the lightning builds in here. I'm gonna leave it like this. Cause it's, it's just good. It's just good. It makes them strong. Not necessarily maybe S tier. Maybe a little bit lower, at least some of these. But Lightning Vortex, I've seen a lot of people doing Lightning Vortex with this scepter specifically. And, and they did pretty decent amount of damage. So I'm just keeping it like this. Like any lightning build with this scepter is going to be strong. After that, I want to go into A tier. Just for the nerfs that happened in Season 6. And that's going to be Frost Strike, Poison of Arrows, and Virulent Slash. Even though they are still kind of decent. But this is Season 6. I would highly suggest not do this and just pick some new skills to try as some of the skills that were buffed in season six is really really strong right now after this i'm gonna skip straight to daunt and the one skill that is highly daunt is gonna be black plague it's really hard to scale this one especially when you're doing seasons so just don't do it it could be good late into the game, but early, it's a nightmare. So skip on that one. And I'm gonna finish the A tier. I'm gonna explain, I want to add in here Cross Slash. Cross Slash, it might be counterintuitive why it's here, but basically today, it was tested and find out that it doesn't do enough hits. So what's happening? Cross Slash is supposed to hit twice, but when you are using Shadow, it only hits three times, even supposed to hit four times. So, just because there is a bug and you lose 25% of your damage, I'm keeping it in here. After that, Wings of Ignition, as a spell is, like any spell is not strong enough, even in Season 6. It's definitely worth its place in A tier. It still has decent amount of damage and it has versatility. I'm also adding Frost Bomb. Frost Bomb got Shoulders called called Comfort that has Amp on it, but I don't know if you can scale the damage so much that the Frost Bomb build could be good. After that, I'm keeping Lightning Arrow in here. Lightning Arrow only got uh, Energy Fix, so on the tooltip right now you have 50% reduction in the negative debuff on the energy switch. It's still not enough to push this any further than this. Shield Strike also in here is just all the I think there is better choices than Shield Strike at this stage. Don't suggest to do it. Wheel Slash also. Wheel Slash can, you can do high level maps of Wheel Slash, but the build and the investment is way different than any other build because it's a dot build. You need to know what you're doing for this. And for now, I'm gonna wrap it up like this. I kinda want to add Firestorm in here, but Firestorm can have decent amount of damage and it's easier to do than Wheel Slash. However, it requires a specific unique, which is not that big damage on its own, so you kind of want it in the Lacrima. But let's keep it in here. After that, I want to go straight to the S tier, and I'm gonna do this. Fire bomb shot. It's a. It, it was buffed, and it's re representative of the of the bowgun build. So I want to keep it in here. After that, crescent slash, absolute zama, mm, fissure even. Fissure is strong. It's quite strong. The problem is you need you need unique gloves for it. Frost wave. frost wave is up here just because Frost Strike is nerfed. So Frost Wave right now is ahead of it. 
at least I've seen quite a few people doing this and they were doing pretty good damage on it. I'm gonna add Unleash Lightning Shot in here. At the same time, I kind of want to add Fire Blow in here because I've seen people pushing insane amount of damage on Fire Blow, really insane, like in, in top two, top threes easily. Uh, but I'm only putting it in S tier because if somebody would ask me how to do this build, I have no idea. So I'm just keeping it safe. I'm leaving it in S tier, but it's a strong build. You can scale so many projectiles. You can make it overlap like crazy. You can clear full screen with it. And their investment is not that big. But to be safe, I'm putting it in here. After that, uh, I would like to put, that's the thing, I would like to put Ogre Arrow and Rapid Shot, but these two skills, damage wise, they can be easily STA plus, but the problem is both of these don't have any map clear, it's absolutely zero map clear, it's only single target damage. So. I'm gonna keep them in S tier. I actually wanted to put them in question mark, but the main idea is single target insane, multi target negative. And let's go into S tier plus. In S tier plus, easily Earth Blow, insane scaling, but you need to be careful while doing this build. You need to understand that Earth Blow has insane amount of crit on its own. So your charms and your itemization, you need to mix a little bit more maximized damage into it, but the damage is really good. Damage is insane on that one. At the same time, Ice Crystal Arrow, like these two are tops together with combo. I'm gonna add combo too. So STA plus in any sense, in damage, clearing, single damage, anything, anything you can think of. I'm also gonna add Deadly Poison Claw. The funny thing is, Deadly Poison Claw has similar interaction with Cross Slash when you're wearing gloves. So, with gloves you get one extra hit, so Deadly Poison by base does one hit, with gloves it does two hits, however, when you add Shadow, Shadow adds two hits more. So you're actually doing four hits in total, and that's a funny thing. Deadly Poison Claw works, but Cross Slash for some reason doesn't. So only because of that, and because of the new gloves for the Deadly Poison Claw, it's definitely a STA plus. It's strong, damage skill is really good, it has plenty of damage. Clear is not bad if you can stack a little bit of area effect, so it's definitely it's definitely an STA plus. After that, uh, I want to add also uh, Wrathful, Wrathful Rune Knight and Fan Sentry Blade. Just because there is nothing new for the summons and nothing new for the sentries and these builds still does a lot of damage. There is, if you want to play minions, you have to play Wrathful with a melee Abyssling and if you want to do Fan Blade Sentry, you need to have the unique bow for it and the damage is good but again, it's mostly single target damage and Wrathful is just all around good. So I'm gonna keep those in here. After this, I'm gonna add also Explosive Slash. Not many people play Explosive Slash depending on what kind of seasonal leaderboards you're gonna see, but I'm telling you right now, it's good. It they Basically what they did with the Explosive Slash this season, instead of making it having two types of damage in the tooltip, they made it one, which is now weapon range. And now you scale your full damage by just picking up strike damage. Because before, you also had area damage. And the funny thing was, when you picked up area damage on Explosive Slash, it was only affecting the explosion and not the base damage, not the strike damage of the Explosive Slash. So right now they fixed that. There is only one type of damage, which is strike damage. And now it scales from weapon range. So actually, it got insanely big damage boost and at the same time they fix how the 
debuffs work, how you stack the explosive, and right now you stack it really fast and your shadow also stacks it. So the damage of explosive slash is really high, is really high. I really recommend to do this one, it's really fun, really easy to, to play, it has a lot of single, a lot of area clear, it's really good. But at this stage, this is where this upper tiers end. At the same time, I want to add some triggers and I'm gonna keep Dark Judgment in here because Dark Judgment, after the buffs, a lot of people playing that on Korea and Asia and it's really strong. So for the triggers, if you don't know what to trigger, if you're doing like some kind of trigger build, as most of these builds are actually shadow builds, not necessarily trigger builds, but if you're doing triggers with like Wings of Ignition, Absolute Zhama, Frost Bomb, Dark Judgment is a good choice. After that, I want to add also Thorn Explosion. Even after all the nerfs, Thorn Explosion is still really strong. I'm adding Poison Orb in here just because it has a necklace that scales Poison Damage insanely good and at the same time makes Poison Orb itself much better. I'm adding Condensed Fire too. Right now it's normal rune, before it was yellow, so and Condensed Fire is kinda strongish. If you want to do it with, it with Wings of Ignition plus Condensed Fire, it's not a bad trigger, not a bad build, but it's not, it's not, it's still not, not gonna be anywhere close to anything that's above A tier. And even in A tier themselves, Wings of Ignition build with Condensed Fire, it wouldn't be, it would be probably the last in place if you take it as a priority. Together with Frost Bomb, probably would be better. I'm adding Frost Thorn. Frost Thorn has a lot of single target damage, and you can do like Frost Bomb, Frost Thorn build. While Frost Bomb clears your maps, Frost Thorn has decent amount of single target damage. I heard people saying it doesn't scale too good, but I think this build might be too hard to do for a new player. You need to know quite a few things, but I'm gonna leave it at there. I don't want to talk about it too much. Maybe I'm gonna do a build about it, but let's leave it at that. After that, What's also good, I've seen some people doing Poison Cloud, but I'm not hard sold on that and Frost Shock. But these two are question marks. I would highly suggest if you're triggering, just do Dark Judgment. And in question mark place, I'm gonna put Blizzard. Why Blizzard? That shit is a mystery to me. I don't know how people push so much damage on it. But, I mean, I have an idea. It's the Blizzard Necklace and a lot of scaling. But I'm keeping it here. It can be good, but it's a difficult difficult build to do. After that, I'm gonna put Verlin Barrage in here. And it's not because it's bad. It's because it can be really good. And the explanation for this is very simple. While Black Plague and Whirlwind has a trigger dampening on them. That means if you trigger skills with these two skills, it's gonna do much less damage. And Whirlwind Barrage doesn't have it. It doesn't have tooltip with the trigger damage dampening. That means there is a high chance that you can make a good Whirlwind build. I have not seen anyone do it but I, I kept talking about this as soon as I saw patch notes. I didn't try to do it myself. I'm still trying to play a game a little bit more than doing YouTube. But I think this could be a dark horse in this, in this meta. I'm gonna try it at some point. But as of right now, I'm leaving it at question mark. And basically, this is where I want to finish this build tier list. I'm not adding any of the skills as I don't know what would be a good place for them. I've seen quite a few people doing Whirlwind, but it's basically to, to run a low level maps in like a minute. I've, I know some people doing like 165s and then they need Chaos Points, so they do like 150 maps with Whirlwind in a, in a like few seconds. So that's the only reason Whirlwind is in here. 
And these, I don't know, don't don't play these. They they have nothing to offer. Throw explosive is actually really close to fire bomb shot. It can be A tier, it has a nice scaling, but I think Fire Bomb Shot has bigger tooltip right now as it was buffed. But throw explosive, don't get me wrong. It was it was strong in season 5 and season 4. But right now, I there are better choices basically. And all of these I'm leaving it in here. And this is where I want to finish. I have some builds planned for later. And if something changes, don't forget to check the description as I'm gonna add extra information if something comes out or there is like a, another good build that's really strong and really easy to do. But as of now, this is everything. GG's, have, have fun and yeah. See ya guys in the next one.